What if I told you your whole life you'd been lied to about the trees in your neighborhood by Fox News? Or just by people who happen to be misinformed? And now the story of a mediocre artist. It's a restful development. Hello and welcome to a restful development. So my toe has been healing really well and I'm pretty mobile again. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my pants. I've been able to take short walks around the park and around my neighborhood and stuff but I still can't bike yet. So the other day I was taking a walk around my neighborhood and I noticed something very strange happening right outside my house. What the fuck? It turns out that the sycamore trees in my neighborhood have been shedding their bark at an enormous rate. No! So like a good little urban investigator, I decided to look into this matter. Sycamore trees are known for their camouflage looking bark. So I started my investigation with the Google search, why do sycamore trees shed their bark? And I uncovered some really fascinating facts. First and most importantly, there are very few sycamore trees in New York City. In fact, most of the time when people are talking about sycamore trees in New York City, they're probably talking about this other tree, the London plane tree. Say it with me now. London plain tree. Most of the time when somebody points out a sycamore tree, it's most likely an imposter. The London plain tree. So it turns out the London plain tree is actually a hybrid of the sycamore. While they're both victims of this mysterious bark shedding epidemic, they're still very, very different. And here's how. Both trees have bark that sheds or exfoliates. So they're both evenly matched when it comes to this. However, London plane trees have a yellow greenish color as the base color for their bark. Whereas sycamore trees have a whitish color for the base color of their bark. Which means that sycamores come from a place of white privilege. Sycamore trees also have one seed ball per twig. Whereas London plains have up to three seed balls per twig. Environment is also a factor. Sycamore trees prefer low-lying riverbed areas. London Plains, on the other hand, are much more tolerant to pollution and have much more compact root systems, making them ideal for urban places. Finally, London Plains have larger leaves than sycamore trees, particularly the middle part of the leaf, as you can see here. The London Plain has a much wider middle leaf than the sycamore trees do. So it turns out that Vincent van Gogh could tell the difference between London plain trees and sycamore trees, and now you can too! Good job! Now there's three main spots that popped up while I was researching the London plain tree in New York City. First of all, there's London plain tree playground in Woodhaven, Queens. Which makes sense, since there are 28 plain trees around the perimeter of the park. There's also one lonely sycamore tree planted there as well, clearly trying to fit in with the rest. The second place that popped up in my research was Washington Square Village in Manhattan, where they boast 23 London Plains amongst all the other trees and flora that they have there. Seriously, walking around here, there's a ton of different types of trees. I don't know why this location was chosen for its London Plains. It doesn't really stand out. One odd thing, though, in some cases they put little metal barriers around the trees, I guess to protect them from their own roots. Masochistic trees. Look out for it. Lastly, there's Ditmas Park, where I first noticed the bark shedding epidemic. On this one block in Ditmas Park on Argyle Road between Ditmas Avenue and Dorchester Avenue, I found a whopping 49 London plane trees. And you get this really awesome arch effect when you're walking or driving down the road. But it makes sense. Ditmas Park is literally littered with London plane trees. There's so many you can barely even notice the litter next to the London plane tree. Also on this block there was one lonely maple tree, which looked about as awkward as a vegan at a chili cook-off. So why are all of these trees shedding their bark at this time of year? Turns out that ecologists and biologists don't all agree on why. There's a whole bunch of different theories for this bark shedding issue. One idea is that the tree would shed its bark while in a period of rapid growth, meaning that the tree is growing so quickly that the bark can't handle that quick expansion. Almost like a snake outgrowing its own skin, it's shedding. 
Other biologists say that trees do this so that they can ward off lichen and moss and fungi to keep its bark from accumulating all sorts of different parasites or epiphytes. Finally, there's another theory out there by John Keslick, who's a tree biologist. He says that London plane trees and sycamores are able to perform photosynthesis without their leaves. They can use their bark to conduct this whole process. And these lighter spots in the bark allow them to absorb that sunlight better. And I think I believe this last theory the most, because the London plane trees and the sycamore trees that I've been observing seem to be shedding their bark on one side only. They seem to be shedding their bark on a side of the tree that gets the most amount of sunlight. So I feel like this theory could actually hold some water. This one tree I found, for example, was shedding bark almost exclusively on the sunniest side of the tree. Maybe John Keslick is right. So that's all for now. Remember, when you're walking around New York City, that if you see a sycamore tree, or you think you see a sycamore tree, chances are it's probably a London plane tree. After all, the London plane tree is actually the most common tree in all of New York. So no matter how interesting and fascinating these trees are, they're nowhere near as awesome as this tree in the Philippines. This is called a rainbow eucalyptus tree. And please, if you live in a place where they have these, you should make a video about them. I mean, hot damn, look at that! Anyways, thanks for watching, see you next time. Great kid, don't get cocky. So why do they need their leaves? Apparently one day these trees just got fed up with their leaves and said, F it, I'm done with leaves.